Hey, what's up everyone? I uh, just want to make this uh, quick video on a deck that I want to sell. Um, it's pretty much the deck that I played or ran with, um, I guess, before the Black Wings. So, uh, without further ado, uh, here we go. Monster lineup. Um, one Titanial Ultimate. Um, two Lone Fire Blossoms, uh, both rares. Two Dandelion Super. One spore. Um, I tried drawing on it and messed up, and just decided to keep it like that. Um, I guess I'll replace this with a with a regular one that's not whited out and not sharpied. But yeah, um, spore. Glow up bulb. Ultra first ed. Uh, three debris dragons. Um, all rare. Uh, one or two of them are not 100% mint, so it's got some playwear. Play uh, three Super Raikos. They are non first. Sangin. Spirit Reaper. Mystic Tomato. Yes, I ran Mystic Tomato. Uh, Super Nimble Mega Hamster. Card Trooper. Two Caius. And a Trago. <coughs> Okay, that's it for the monster lineup. Um, let me tell you why I'm running Mystic Tomato. It's because um, it searches out Sangin. It searches out um, what is it? What's his name? Where would he go? Oh yeah, it's over here. He searches out Spirit Reaper, um, and not just that. It's a plant, so it's good for uh, spore. So you can remove this for Spore, and Spore becomes a level 5. And it's good for, I don't know, a Spear Reaper on the field. Or it's good for um, a Sangin. It's good for a Car Trooper for level 8. So it's pretty good, pretty solid. Um, there's a reason why I'm also running Trigodia. I'll show you why afterwards. So that's the Monster lineup. Let's move it over to the side. Uh, spell lineup, Monster Reborn. Giant Trunade. Cold Wave, two Space Typhoons, two books, one One for One, one Foolish Burial, one Charge of the Light Brigade, and two Pot of Adversaries. Uh, there is no Dark Hole in here because I took it out. Um, for some reason, I only have one Dark Hole. I don't have any commons. Um, all I have is the Super Rare one. So, um, yeah, that's my spell lineup. Trap lineup, uh, Wing Blast. Two Boundless Trap Holes, Turn to Tribute, Call of the Haunted, and two Limit Reverse. So yes, I am playing the Limit, limit Reverse version of the Debris Dandy. Um, and that is why I'm playing Trigodia over Gores. Because uh, Trigodia, I mean, all it requires for him to drop on the field is to, for you to take battle damage. Whereas Gores, you have to have no cards on your side of the field. And with Limit Reverses, you're playing these to get the dandies or the spores or the glow bulbs out so you can sink for level two and once you do that it stays on the field and what's also good about this is um, if you do do limit reverse and grab something out and if you have a, um, and if you have a, a scrap dragon then you can actually blow this up and blow their card up so um, yeah limit reverse is pretty good card um, I would say it's pretty broken. Most of the monsters in the deck here are all less than a thousand. Uh, most of the time you want to play it during your opponent's end phase. So that way if you want you could possibly um, pull that out, pull Danny Line out and then switch it to defense mode. And then it gets destroyed by reverse's effect. You get that free two token for you to like activate glow bulb or something to get a draw out of that. So. Um, yeah, that's the deck list. Um, I'm looking to sell it. I'm not sure how much. Uh, so if you give uh, give me an offer, uh, that'll be great. Um, if you're serious about buying it, then send me an offer through a private message. Um, I'll look for it and I'll reply. So yeah, um, Tin King CK here. Peace out. Have fun. Subscribe. Uh, thumbs up the video. And yeah. Um, Competitive deck. Peace.